Just ahead of the Himachal Pradesh elections, now BJP has come out with its first list of candidates. List of 62 candidates have been put out. Not much surprise there. Uh, CM Jairam Thakur is going to contest from uh, Siraj seat. And this is the first list of candidates which has been put out by the BJP as far as the Himachal Pradesh elections is concerned. So the Chief Minister of uh, Himachal there, Jairam Thakur, is going to be contesting from the Siraj seat. This is the first list of candidates which have been put out by the BJP. In fact, eight candidates have been included from the scheduled tribe category, uh, with only three seats at the moment being re reserved for that. Uh, in fact, BJP has also given tickets to women candidates, five tickets to women candidates out of this list of 62, which has been declared at the moment, uh, around the... Uh, as far as reports are concerned, uh, around two-thirds of the recommended candidates are graduates and postgraduates, and 11 of the sitting MLAs have been replaced at the moment as far as this candidate list is concerned. This is initial assessment which is coming through. Let me go across to my colleague Mohit Bhatt, who has more on this. Mohit, so what does the first list uh, in, for uh, BJP in Himachal Pradesh look like? Any surprises or any highlights from it? Well, you see, uh, yesterday a um, uh, meeting of the Central Election Committee of the BJP happened at the BJP headquarters, which was attended by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, J.P. Nadda, and other senior leaders of the party, including Home Minister Amit Shah, Party Organizational Secretary B.L. Santosh, Bupendra Yadav, and all those who are part of the Central Election Committee. Now, after that, the first list of the 62 candidates have been released. Now, the Chief Minister of uh, Himachal, Jairam Thakur, uh, will contest from Serat seat, and he's likely to file his nomination today. And also, we know for a fact that how uh, the 62 names have come up uh, and uh, uh, the BJP leaders, Anil Sharma and Sapal Singh Sati, who are, who are big names in Himachal from the BJP, they have been fielded from Mandi and Una constituency, respectively. Remember, Anil Sharma is the son of former Union Minister Sukram. And some of the uh, incumbent MLAs have also been dropped by the BJP. Now, uh, the basic main pointer of this particular list is that the BJP has given uh, tickets to eight candidates which are from the uh, uh, scheduled tribe category with only, uh, and we know for a fact that how only three seats are being reserved for scheduled tribe category, but eight seats have been given. We know for a fact that how the BJP has been saying this, that they believe in Sabka Saad, Sabka Vishwas, and Sabka Vikas. So uh, they are trying to reach out to the OBC, SC, SC community, and the Dalit community. And also, uh, five women candidates have been given ticket by the party and uh, and in comparison to the Congress party which uh, in which uh, Congress has given only three tickets to the women candidates. Now, around two-thirds of the list that has come up, the, gra uh, the, uh, the candidates are graduates and postgraduates. Eleven sitting MLAs have been replaced out. One of them is a cabinet minister. So, eleven sitting incumbent MLAs have been left out of the list because BJP also knows that the Himachal elections are very, very important given the fact that how the Congress mm -hmm. parties uh, won the bipoll that happened recently in Himachal and hence the BJP would want to capitalize on the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's image and that is why PM Modi was again and again uh, campaigning in Himachal. Various projects were being announced. One Bharat train from Una to Delhi was being inaugurated. The Bilaspur Ames was being inaugurated. So a pitch of development by Prime Minister Narendra Modi just before Himachal uh, uh, polling schedule was being announced, was given by PM Modi. Uh, and we also know for a fact that this time around, Aam Aadmi Party is also uh, trying to gather some seats in Himachal, and they are also heavily campaigning in Himachal. So it, it, it is said to be a triangular fight in Himachal. Mm -hmm. But the main fight, it seems, will be between the BJP and the Congress, and the list of the BJP's 62 candidates have come out. Right, Mohit, thank you so much for breaking down the and analyzing the first list of the BJP for Himachal Pradesh elections, which has been released now by the party just a short while back. Thank you so much for joining us with that.